Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with cats.com and this week's video is on the best cat food you can buy in 2023. Over the last few years, I've spent a lot of time testing and reviewing cat food. The cats.com website has reviewed over 220 different brands and over 600 recipes. And I've personally tested over 100 different cat food recipes over the last few years. And so this has involved independently purchasing the food, trying it with my cats, and sending numerous recipes to a lab for testing. This has allowed me to get a sense of the contaminants that might be in the food, as well as how well each of these recipes um, measures up to the promises made on the guaranteed analysis. So based on that experience, I'm going to be sharing my top recommendations for the best food you can give your cat this year. So feel free to use the video navigation to jump to a particular food that you think will suit your needs. I'll also put links to all of them in the description in case you want to check them out there. With that said, let's get on into my reviews. So my first recommendation is the fresh cat food from Smalls. So of course this is available through a subscription only, which could be a deterrent. Personally, I do like the convenience of being able to order a la carte, so to speak, and pick things up at a local store. But if you're comfortable with a cat food subscription and receiving boxes according to a schedule of your choosing, then Smalls offers some of the best ingredient quality and nutrition on the market. So all of their fresh foods are 100% human grade. Feed grade products can certainly be as high quality as human grade products, but you're getting an additional assurance that it's meeting those standards. Additionally, Smalls recipes like the bird recipe here incorporate plenty of meat ingredients. They incorporate a combination of muscle meat and organs, and you're not getting a ton of plant ingredients uh, nor are you getting a lot of carbohydrate matter. So altogether, this is a species appropriate, highly bioavailable, easy to digest food, and my cats at least really like their products. They're available in a wide variety of flavors and textures so you can get something that your cat likes, and overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of this food. Now, Smalls is a bit more expensive than a lot of other foods out there, so you'll get 20% off your first sample box, and then your recurring orders will generally add up to about $4 per day for a single cat. If you order Smalls right now, you'll get free treats with your boxes for life, so that's a kind of cool perk. If you want to check it out, you can use the link in the description. Now, if you're interested in a more traditional wet cat food, a pate style cat food, or maybe a shredded product, I would recommend the wet food line from Raws. There are a number of things I really like about Raws, starting with the nutrition that is offered. So these foods are all meat-based with minimal plant inclusions. They don't even include gums, which is rare among wet cat foods. And the macronutrient distribution looks outstanding. Uh, I also like that they offer a nice variety of recipes so you can choose something that your cat likes. I also like that the ingredient sourcing is meticulously documented on the Raw's website as well as uh, nutritional information. This is something that you aren't getting from every brand, but they are quite transparent with all of this. Another interesting thing about Raw's is that 100% of their profits are donated to charities. All of them are related to some difficult circumstances that the founding family went through. So two of their sons, um, had serious injuries. One of them had a traumatic brain injury and the other had a spinal cord injury. And so all of the profits are donated to either helping um, people get service dogs, researching spinal cord injuries, and researching traumatic brain injuries. So if you're interested in supporting these causes, uh, as well as giving your cat a really high quality diet, then Raws might be one to look into. The price of Raws is going to depend on which recipe you choose, so average cost per day ranges between $3.15 per day and $4.20 per day, so a little bit on the expensive side. On the other hand, my next recommendation is going to be a good option if you're shopping for good food on a budget. And it is the Freestyle or Metal Series line from Nulo. These lines are basically identical in every way, except you'll see them in different places. So the Metal Series line is exclusive to PetSmart, and then you will see the Freestyle line at other retailers. They're rich in animal-derived protein, they have moderate levels of fat, they have low carbohydrate content, everything that we're looking for in a wet cat food. And they are also very affordably priced. So you're going to want to make sure to get the 12 and a half ounce cans. Those are the big ones. And what you'll find is that on a price per calorie basis, 
Uh, these are cheaper than a lot of Fancy Feast classic pâtés, which I know are a kind of budget-friendly favorite that I've mentioned in the past. It breaks down to about $1.62 per day. Most of my recommendations here are wet foods because hydration is essential and cats are best off when they're getting their hydration from their food. But I know a lot of people are looking for a good dry food recommendation. So nutritionally, my overall top recommendation is Dr. Elsie's Clean Protein. I've talked about this in the past. They have several varieties and they're outstanding in their use of gelatin instead of starchy binders, which allows the food to be surprisingly low carbohydrate while also having that crunchy texture texture that cats like. So it's a meat-based food, it has nice levels of animal-derived fat, and it's overall a really species-appropriate option. However, over the last year I've seen a lot of comments from people saying that the consistency and the flavor of the food has changed over the last year, and a lot of people whose cats previously really liked the food are no longer having success with it. So if you've been using uh, Dr. Elsie's clean protein food in the past, you might be looking for something new, but from what I can tell, um, cats who are new to Dr. Elsie's clean protein won't have any problem with the newer food. So Dr. Elsie's clean protein food is a little bit more expensive than other dry foods, so it's going to break out down to about 87 cents per day, still significantly cheaper than most wet cat foods. If you have been feeding Dr. Elsie's clean protein in the past and your cat's not liking it anymore or you don't like the crumbliness in the bag or something like that, you might be looking for something new. My next recommendation is my second dry option, which is Open Farm's new raw mix dry cat food. So the raw mix recipes are a little bit higher in carbohydrates than other open farm foods, but they derive more protein from animal sources, which may be more bioavailable for your cat and therefore more nutritious, more digestible. In addition to seemingly being a good source of animal derived nutrition, this food comes from a company that I regard as reputable. Uh, they offer a lot of information about their ingredient sourcing and similarly to Raw's, they offer a complete nutrient analysis for all of their foods, giving you better insight into what's actually inside of the bag. All of the foods in the Raw Mix line are given a boost with a combination of bone broth and freeze dried animal ingredients, including gizzards. So it gives a nice nutritional boost and it also makes the food a little bit more palatable. My cat Forest really likes this food, uh, though I have to keep her away from it. Uh, she has found it on my shelf and ripped open the bag, so it is a very appealing recipe. On average, the food costs about 56 cents per ounce, and because it's not particularly calorie dense, that adds up to about $1.15 per day for a typical cat, so more expensive than the average dry food. If you want to feed your cat a freeze-dried raw diet, I would also recommend a formula from Open Farm. They recently introduced a line of freeze-dried raw foods, and after testing a variety of other raw diets alongside this one, I'm impressed by the way that it incorporates a few sources of fiber. It doesn't seem to be extremely high in phosphorus, which is something that we see among some other raw diets, and it seems to be highly palatable. So it comes in a few different formulas. Uh, we can look specifically at the chicken and salmon recipe. You can see that it's primarily made from animal ingredients and incorporates a nice combination of muscle meats and organs and bones. And it has a nice micronutrient distribution with plenty of animal-derived protein, moderate levels of fat, and very low carbohydrate content. So overall, I was really happy with this food, and I think it's a good option for those of you who want to try a raw diet. This particular chicken and salmon recipe costs about $4.17 per day. Getting into some recommendations for cats with kind of special needs, my first recommendation for picky cats is Carew's Classic Stew line. Now, choosing the right food for a picky cat is really individual. Um, I found that my cats consistently really like fresh homemade style foods, so that might be a good place to start, but you really need to pay attention to what your cat has enjoyed in the past, which treats they like, and then model that. Speaking generally though, Carew's Classic Stews tend to be really, really palatable. They're also very accessible for cats with bad teeth or other issues that make it difficult for them to eat firmer foods. So the foods are very thin, um, lappable, 
They can even be appropriate for cats with megaesophagus. These foods are among the few that are 100% human grade. So this is really the highest carbohydrate wet food on this list. So we're noticing that while it is primarily made from animal ingredients, you're also seeing some tapioca starch, as well as apples, carrots, and sweet potato that can kind of drive the carbohydrate content up. But if you're comfortable with a higher carbohydrate food and a little bit more of an emphasis on plant ingredients, uh, Carew's Classic Stews can certainly be a good high quality option. Now, they are expensive. You're going to pay about $4.50 per day uh, to feed this food, but you might find it worthwhile. If you have a cat with what is commonly referred to as a sensitive stomach, meaning they have some sort of food sensitivity or maybe they have irritable bowel disease or they have allergies, then Koa's line of wet cat foods could be a good option. Koha offers a wide variety of limited ingredient diets and many of their foods are specifically intended for cats who have these types of digestive issues. So I have used their rabbit au jus recipe with my cats and sent it off to the lab for testing and I'm really impressed by the combination of species appropriate ingredients and the inclusion of New Zealand green lipped mussel, which can be beneficial in reducing inflammation in the body and therefore helping out with some of those digestive issues. So overall, a really nutritious food. But there is one concern uh, around this food, which is that it, like all of the other limited ingredient diet recipes from Koa, is really high in phosphorus. This recipe has about 262 milligrams of phosphorus per 100 calories, and that's over double the minimum recommended amount for adult cats. Consider that uh, in conjunction with other things, um, high phosphorus content in the food has been connected tentatively with uh, an increased risk of kidney disease in cats. This makes me a little bit nervous. Now, the price of Koa cat food varies broadly based on which protein you're choosing. So it can cost over $5 per day to feed their rabbit food, but price per day can be significantly lower if you choose a different recipe. If you're trying to help your cat lose weight, I would recommend Tiki Cat's Puka Puka Lua recipe. So this is a very simple, straightforward food, primarily made of shredded chicken muscle meat in a thin broth. There are some things I don't really like about this food. One is that it is very low in fiber and it's also very low in fat. While low fiber and low fat content is not something that would necessarily harm your cat and it's definitely within the levels established by AFCO, it's still something that concerns me a little bit, especially in terms of constipation and digestion. Now fortunately Tiki Cat offers a wide variety of recipes so you can mix it up with foods from other lines. But what I liked about the Tiki Cat Puka Puka Lua recipe is that one, it is really popular, cats tend to like it, and two, it's really low in calories, which is going to help your cat with weight issues to lose weight. Now, the low calorie density of this food comes at a cost, literally, so it's going to add up to about $4.50 per day uh, if you're feeding 200 calories a day. My next recommendation is for those senior cats out there. So this is for a senior cat who doesn't have other health issues that need to be addressed through their diet, and it is Waruva True Lux steak frites. So what I like about this recipe is that it is a bit lower in phosphorus uh, compared to a lot of the other cat foods out there. A lot of foods are well in excess of AFCO's minimum levels for maintenance, and this can, again, possibly contribute to the development of kidney disease, which is extremely common, affecting about one third of senior cats. So this isn't a therapeutic diet, it's not a kidney diet, but it is a nice meat-based food that offers lower levels of this particular mineral that can be a little bit of a problem for cats' kidneys. So the food is primarily made from beef, and then it contains a combination of potato starch and sweet potatoes, carrots, some other kind of starchier plant ingredients, but the carbohydrate content of the food remains low. The biggest downside of the food, it is extremely expensive, and I'm not entirely sure why. So this food costs about $6.50 per day. And then my last recommendation is for cats at the opposite end of the age spectrum. It is my top recommended kitten food. And uh, for the third year in the row, I am recommending Wellness Core's um, turkey and turkey liver recipe for kittens as the overall best kitten food. So we're getting seemingly high quality ingredients. All of them are clearly named, clearly labeled. So we have a combination of turkey and chicken and chicken liver as well as herring and Manhattan fish oil as a source of omega-3 fatty acids. All, most of the ingredients are animal derived to give your kitten highly digestible, highly bioavailable protein. And then it also incorporates a little smattering of plant-derived ingredients to round out the nutritional profile. But overall, it's a high protein, moderate to high fat food that is nice and calorie dense, offering all of the nutrition that your kitten needs. Now, this food costs about 55 cents per ounce and 
your cost per day is going to really depend on how much you're feeding your kitten and this can be quite variable depending on the life stage uh, but it can go up to over five dollars per day depending on how much you're feeding the kitten so that's it for my top recommendations uh, for the best food of 2023 i hope you found it helpful again i'll have links in the description to everything mentioned here and you'll also find a link to the complete written version of this review where you'll also be able to find the lab testing results and additional details so i hope you found it helpful and I will see you next week.